Welcome to Fly Test. Today, we tried to think bold. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm Stefan. Now if you guys like 3D printing, destruction, and crazy challenges, today is the day for you. That is right. So today we're partnering with our friends over at Insta360 with their Think Bold Fund. We're actually going to take this airplane through a man-made tunnel. And this is a crazy new fund that they just yeah. came out with. You essentially take your project that you want to do, this crazy project you want to do, and you actually get to pitch it to them. And if you get chosen, essentially they'll sponsor your entire project. Now the project that we pitched to Insta360 is from our good friends at Red Bull. We want to copy what they did specifically with the tunnel video. So Dario, one of the Red Bull athletes, yeah. actually took his airplane and flew through a tunnel. If you've never seen that video, we'll definitely link it down below. But we're going to try to recreate that with our C4. Thanks to them, we're going to be able to definitely go bold and probably go broke, or mainly the airplane will go <laughs> broke. But we're going to do everything we can to take a model airplane and take what Red Bull took years to do and try to copy that in a matter of a few short minutes. But the first thing we need to do, we got this all printed, built. We'll go back in time, show you how we did it, and then we're going to put up our test flight. Do it. So this is quite possibly the most ambitious flying challenge we've ever taken on, and we want lots of backups. Along with the MXSR V2 that Eclipse is sending us, we're also going to be prepping a backup, which is going to be our FT3D XL. So while Dave is working on the Eclipse model, Michael's working on the FT3D, we have Wes working on a really special project, and that's all around the Flurkin. What do you got, bud? Yeah, so uh, we've got a power distribution board for the Flurkin, so you can have an easier access to the battery plug and also have the ESC plugged in, so you don't have to worry about the ESC being pulled out. They'll also supply power for the camera and video transmitters, so that way you have the option of using five volts or full battery voltage for your video transmitters. Now this is huge, and it's also because of your feedback here. People are really loving the FPV experience. What we want to do is make this even more simple, so when you simply plug in your battery and plug in your ESC on opposite lines, all the proper voltages go where they need to be, and you don't have any excess wire inside. It's gonna clean things up and make things even more reliable. Once Wes is finished with designing this, we're going to go ahead and put in the order for testing. And also, when we're done testing this and we get the final version, it's going to be available for you guys to download for free from PCB Way's sharing platform. So we'll make sure we share that link. This is going to be incredible. So Wes is going to finish designing this. We're going to put in the order. Make sure you guys check out our future content because I'm sure you're going to see this pop up. I'm now taking inventory of our 3D printed plane we just got in. It's called the MSXR from Eclipse and it's a beautiful print so far. I just have to make sure everything's here and then we're going to get started on building. Alright, so we're here at Lowe's here in Alliance, our, our closest one to our shop. Uh, we got to go in and get some PVC, we got to get some tarps, we got to get a whole bunch of fun stuff to make our Insta360 tunnel, right? So we can recreate the Red Bull flight through the tunnel that everybody's probably seen already. We're gonna try to recreate that in RC farm. So Lowe's gonna help us out with all the stuff that we need. All right, Steph, what did, what did we come up with here? All right, so we came to literally the last aisle in the bunch, in the plumbing aisle, and we found uh, exactly what we need, half inch, 10 foot PVC pipe. We're gonna need about 34 or so pieces um, that will go into our X fittings, our T fittings, and then, uh, we also gotta find a tarp, but we found all the tubes that we need. We're super stoked, we don't have to go anywhere else. Awesome. So the FT3D XL size is finally in its final version here, and Mike and Jason McQuist have been working. You guys have been doing a great job. Yeah, we've gone through a little bit of finicky and tweaking this and crashing, but it's fun. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna build one more of these, we're gonna put it in paint, and ultimately this is gonna be one of the airplanes that we're gonna be taking through the tunnel. Holy cow, this is a lot smaller than I thought. It's, uh... <laughs> so, we've shot tree gaps before, but this is one that you gotta stay on point all the way through. <laughs> with an airplane. I mean, quads it wouldn't be so bad, would it? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be finishing this up, but then we also got a made in the uh, the Eclipse model, right? Yeah, yeah, the uh, MS... Oh, I can't... MSX. The new 3D printed. <laughs> There's so many names. MSXR V2. Um, that's too hard to say. I know, there's so many letters. Okay, not that so, smart. yeah, okay. So yeah, um, it's the new MSR, MSXR, yeah. MX, 
MSX. M is it MSX? So it's the new MSXR V2 that uh, Eclipsum <laughs> made for us. Beautiful plane. They took their old design, redesigned some of the stuff, and put some of their new intuitive uh, hinges and things of that nature in it. Turned out really nice. I'm happy with it, and it looks beautiful. So the goal is pretty simple. We want to create the camera angles that they used in the Red Bull uh, tunnel. Yeah, like, tunnel of flight. Yeah, it, it was awesome. And, and there's so many cool angles, but what we don't want to see is our FPV gear being seen through the camera. So, so we're trying to figure out some really clever ways to hide our FPV gear, both on the FT3D XL and also... Uh, the MSRX V2. V2, yeah. It's a tough first but it's an awesome plane. So what are you gonna do, Dave? Um, actually, I'm thinking if we kind of hollow out this uh, bottom cowling piece here, I might be able to heat it up a little bit and shove this through, and I think it's gonna fit perfect right there. The only concern I have is I don't know what it's gonna look like being that close to the prop, swinging in front of it. Getting real close. Yeah, it might make it so we don't even see it, which okay. would be awesome. That could be cool. Yeah, typically when you're further out, type, you know, on the edge, like there's speeds of the prop. It's much slower here and much faster here, so moving it in and out changes how your shutter speed and all that stuff works. But We'll give it a shot and see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. So we're gonna be taking this up where it's maiden, but also we wanna get used to flying it because we're gonna capture every single angle possible. So I have all the Insta360 go-tos already mounted here. Center gravity is critical. Uh, so anytime that you put cameras on and stuff like that, do what we do. And make sure your center gravity both with the laterally across the wing, but also left and right. So you don't have to put extra trim in there. It's all balanced out. And we're good to go. What do you say we put up for a maiden? Let's put it up for a maiden, that's exciting. Awesome. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, my man. Now I gotta get you, yeah, I gotta get used to taxiing this thing because that's what we're gonna have to do when we take off out of the tunnel. Right. So really seeing how well she taxis straight is really important. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. All right, let's turn it around here. Oh yeah. I'm actually gonna use the center line here to really practice my takeoff. That's a great idea. All right, that looks pretty promising. You guys all ready? Noah, are we still friends if I hit you? We love you, Noah. Woo, we're in the air. Not a click of trim. <laughs> That's awesome. I can't help it, I gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> so Devin, there's a big reason why the MXSR V2 is, is a V2, correct? Correct. So one of the big things is that they completely redesigned the internal structure to make it easier to print and easier to build, which is yeah. pretty amazing when you think about how ridiculously massive this plane is yeah. in terms of how many parts parts and pieces they are. Yeah, and as we said before, you know, Eclipse is always evolving in their build techniques, their printing techniques to make everything easy about it. Correct. One thing I really liked about it is they moved the servos back. The neat thing about this design is you have very solid linkage controls because now you don't have 20 plus inch long push rods. Right. You simply have a servo in the back, a very direct linkage, and that is critical whenever you're flying an aerobatic airplane, especially a fast one. Roll into inverted. Oh, on rails. There you go. All right, so inverted is stable as a rock. It's a little bit of forward pressure. That's exactly okay. what we want. Yep. By the way, no aura in this, okay? So yep. what we're flying is true. We're just flying the airplane. I'm running 100%, true plane. Yep, 100 throws, 30% expo. All right, we'll do some slow flight, and then ultimately I'll put her into a power on stall. Okay. That means we're gonna have the torque working against us. All right, so slow flight, pulling back, wow. slowing it down. That's respectable. So she, down, she wants to drop a little bit on the tips. I'm just catching it, but the, the response to this from the aileron is so good. I can actually just correct that. I feel like I'm gonna come home with this. I think I'm gonna be able to hit the mark. Let's go. All right, stress test time. Oh, dang, they look sick. She pulls right out. Yeah, so there's many different filaments in here from ColorFab. Well, we yeah. have lightweight PLA for sure. We, we have got lightweight PLA, we got tough PLA where the landing gear, and it's and it's like reinforced down there where the landing gear's at as well, which is part of the V2. Uh, and then uh, you've got the two different colors, obviously, uh, which is the yellow and the black. Uh, and then, do we have any, are the wheels, I believe the wheels are the VariaSure yes. TPU. Um, so yeah, you got three different filaments on, on one airplane, which is awesome. Well, so Clifton did a fantastic job with this design, and also, if you like this, this would definitely be the time to take advantage of getting into this kit because our good friends at Clifton, mm -hmm. they made this design 25% off by simply going to our code. Yeah, Flight MXS, it's gonna be valid for one week, so you gotta get jump on that really quickly. You're gonna get 25% off your airframe. They're awesome, you're not gonna be disappointed by this airframe by any means. And if you're looking for the lightweight PLA, the tough PLA, our good friends at ColorFab partnered with us, we now carry the lightweight PLA in the tough PLA and even the very shirt right in our own store. Yeah, so go check that out. There's be links in the description below. 
It is time to go bold. We have a tunnel to build, we have a tunnel to fly through. Carnage is gonna happen. That's right, let's get it. Sketch factor's high. Just never know what's gonna happen. You're flying a plane through a tunnel, anything could happen. It's not much of a secret tunnel anymore. Secret, oh, secret tunnel. <laughs> Two hours later. Doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, Josh. Uh, unfortunately, um, we're, we're plagued with a bunch of heat right now and wind. Yeah. And neither one of those things are good for the PVC. Yeah. We got over 90 degrees outside, and on top of that, a direct crosswind is just crushing everything down. Uh, Michael had a different idea, and I like it. It's a little bit more risky for the airplanes because if we crash in there, we have a chance with just the, the plastic kind of taking the impact. We're going to go down to Malvern and we're going to go ahead and go to our store tent which has two garage doors on each side and it's over 60 feet long and there's connexes on the far side which makes it pretty much as long as that. What do you say we just fly through that? Yeah, I say we uh, gather everything up and go for it. Now the plus side is it's not going to blow over. The downside is if we hit something, pieces are flying. All right, so we're out here in Malvern, Ohio, and this is actually the home of where Flight Fest takes place. We just finished up a month ago with our 2022 Flight Fest, and it was an amazing experience. Now, everything's been cleared out. We still have these awesome containers here, so our plan's pretty simple. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take off out, and this is gonna be basically our tunnel to exit. We have a single car garage door at the far end here. We're gonna take off of that. Once we get through that first obstacle, we're gonna loop around to the left, and then I'm gonna work on lining up with these two containers. Now between the two containers and the tents and everything we have set up, it's over 100 feet long that we're gonna to have to fly through. But I'll also be able to use them with the feather flags to adjust for my crosswind or any kind of wind conditions I gotta deal with. If by the grace of God we make it through all those, my final obstacle is gonna to be to fly through the Flight Fest store and out the other end. Okay guys, we're almost ready to fly. I just got done putting up all the cameras. We got three Insta360 go-tos just on the plane alone. We got one on each wingtip and one on the tail. And that's how light they are. They barely affect your center of gravity. Now also, we have the Insta360 1X2. Now this is gonna catch everything between the entrance and the exit. Also, at the entrance, we have even more Insta360 go-tos. Now the great thing about this, they're magnetic. So we can stick them all over the shipping containers and get those awesome angles. Now, time to fly. So you ready for this big guy? Let's do it. Are we recording here? Oh, we are. Perfect. Let's go. Dang, that looks amazing. You ready to fly, you ready to fly out? <laughs> you know the craziest thing is? I'm more intimidated about just getting out the door here because that crosswind. So let's see <laughs> how right. it goes on. Good luck, sir. Are you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. <laughs> Gotta get out of the building first. Yeah. Three. Two. Two. <laughs> one. <laughs> We're up! Yeah! <laughs> I see you! Holy cow, Let's the wind go. is real! <laughs> Come it on, is, son. It is absolutely ridiculous how well this thing cuts through the wind. All right, so challenge one down. Video is solid. That's good. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and fly into the wind a little bit here. And then we're going to get turned. And I, I want to go over top of the... I right. Wanna go over top You're going to go the, right over top of the container. Just to practice the alignment, yeah. It's a great decision. All right, I see, I see my uh, container here. Holy cow, that's a small hole. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just try to get right over top of the container. Right Good idea. Line. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well done. <laughs> well done. All, right. All right, lined it up. That looks good. That wasn't so bad. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for it. You can go? Yeah, I think we're gonna <laughs> no go No more it. practice, no more trying. It's like, I, I don't think, get in your head too much. I think I'm just gonna get more nervous as time goes on, and that was that was too good. Okay. <laughs> all right. Flying, For all the marbles. I'm, I am gonna give myself a little bit more space this time. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn in. Dude, my heart is pounding. I'm <laughs> oh, shaking, man. Say, shake it in your knees. All right. Holy cow. Okay, drop it down. I see the height. You can see right through it. All right. You there. Commit. Commit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! What? I'm outside of the tunnel! <laughs> the rest of the plane, I can see it in the video, is inside the tunnel! <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> you gotta make it through the first one. Did I make it through the first one? Oh, man! And then, and then, I think you clicked. I don't know, I gotta look. What I hit? I don't know. Well, the plane made it through. The plane's on the other side! But so you must have oh clipped. Oh my gosh! You must have clipped either the back end of this one, 
or the entrance of the second one. You guys put a wire up. No, you clipped so when you went through the second one, you're yeah. about halfway through and your wingtip just nipped the right side. Are you kidding oh, me? Like, it felt, it felt so up. magical. <laughs> like, I was lined up, I was looking straight through. I'm like, I cannot believe I'm focused on what it is. And I was looking straight through and it felt so right. And I'm going through, I'm like, I can't believe I'm gonna bam, 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 bam. <laughs> All I see is as it's spinning around, I'm oh seeing pieces God. of my airplane separated from my airplane <laughs> while I'm still moving through. <laughs> Dude, should we go check this out? We do, but don't worry, guys. We got a backup plan. We got a backup plan. I'm here and I just did there, there, Well, one of the spars. The nice thing is, is there's no doubt about it. We have plenty of replays right now. Yes. So replay action coming in hot. It right felt, now. I felt so centered though. I was so confident in that moment. You looked good. So I, I, I obviously I couldn't see when you came in. Yeah. I couldn't see past this point, so I didn't know it was coming out. I thought I was already when I was at this point going through there. I was like, I'm gonna pull up. How was your heart? Huh? How it was, was your... pounding, but this felt magical. <laughs> uh, mad respect for you, Dario, because I cannot imagine doing this while you're in the cockpit. Oh my goodness. But but I felt like honestly I was already playing in my victory role because it felt so straight and true. <laughs> And all of a sudden, it's like boom, 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 boom. Dang. Oh, I, I, I think it was the wind from right here that got you. Oh, You're probably you right. Move once you got Dang it. You're well, do we have we have a camera here, huh? I'll yeah, we'll out, see. There's a piece of your plane on the other side of the container. So you probably need There's it. a problem. There's there's not enough CA glue in my truck to fix this one. Um, holy cow. And so we, we went all the way through. But I mean, oh. your, your plane ended on the other side. Yeah. Well, here's your here's the prop. It's tough PLA. You oh, look, look at that. This is good to go. That's perfect. <laughs> you know what I love? That's great work right I, there. I still have it. Keep going. Oh, man. Look at up you there. Know, I'm going to call it, guys. We made it through. There's a, there's a go-to. <laughs> so, you made it. I wish you guys could see my <laughs> video feed because it's... <laughs> It just kept on going and I'm looking back as I'm tumbling and I'm looking at pieces of my airplane to get out of body, out of body experience. Hey, smile at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and look, and look, totally oh, we're okay. <laughs> so so here's, a, here's an example of tough PLA in a crash. Yeah, look at that. Fares, fares pretty well. Super well, wow. All right, and, and I still have, let me see if I still have control. Nope, no control. <laughs> yeah. So I still have video. I'm gonna hit record stop real quick. All right, wow. so, I'm sorry. This this was we gave it 110% to get through this. I had big plans after this, but we're not done. We have one more airplane. Yes. It's the FT3D foam board. Let's just go again. We're gonna okay? go for it. Yep. Let's go again. See what happens. One down. One down. All right. We got we got another opportunity. We brought it back up. Brought it back. We knew that 3D printed airplanes and steel containers maybe aren't the best combination, and this is by far, like we said earlier, this is by far the most crazy bold challenge we've ever done in our lives as far as flying goes. Right. And we knew the destruction happens. We have the FT3D XL. Yes. We have it all decked out. We have the cameras on it. We're gonna try this one more time with foam board this time. Worst case scenario, you guys get to see exactly what happens to foam board when it hits a steel container. That's Can right. Do this? Let's do this. Dude, Let's we're, do it. We're putting these cameras to the test. Yeah, we are. <laughs> these things have been holding up fantastic. All right. The go-tos have literally just survived everything we put them through. So far, so good. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Three. Two, one. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. he's there! <laughs> I straight up almost clipped the side. All right. That's the first so one down. That's there's, good. There's no steerable tailwheel on the 3D XL, and that automatically means that when you give it throttle, torque takes over and it steers you, and, and I was not prepared. <laughs> All right. All right, we're gonna go back over the, the yeah. uh, containers one more time. Yeah, let's get a roll out of it. I just gotta, I gotta get the jitters out of me. Let's just get a roll out of it. There we go. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> now All right. transfer the shake to yep, the knees. I got it in low expo. Really critical. <laughs> All right, gonna do it. Do a pass. That was really helpful, just to line things up. It's definitely much slower, which is in my favor. Yes. All right, I'm gonna take it right over top. Here we go. <clears throat> Perfect. I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> All right, hold it. Right over the top. Right over the top. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> you almost do. Your, your wheels were absolutely <laughs> so close. They're like an inch, maybe a center. I don't even know. I it forgot so I had close. a landing gear on it. <laughs> Almost did not. That one. landing gear, dude. You almost <laughs> smacked it. It's almost game over. All right. Well, ready for go for broke? Hey, Open let's go literally. for broke. <laughs> I'll root for this one. Make it happen. I mean, two times the charm, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Make it happen, Captain. Oh, man. Oh, the wind's real. You got it. <laughs> here we go. All right, you're Leveling going down. for it, right? I can see right through. You're going right for Those it. lines are good. Here we go. Here we go. Keep here we go. Keep it going. Your line up good. Through, going through. Whoa! Oh, jeez! Oh, <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh my 
the challengers. You, I, I that think you terrible. flipped the other side of the, the container. <laughs> I thought for sure I would go through farther. If I could take a 3D airplane yeah. and take it through, I had less speed, <laughs> I had everything working for me, and I don't even make it through the first one. <laughs> Listen, this is the hardest thing we've ever done, okay? So like, you, we understand that there's possible failures involved. Yeah, Dude, especially me flying. <laughs> you look good though, but Steel container two, airplane zero. Round two, let's check out the damage. Let's check it out. Got it. Oh, hit him. Oh. Hit him in the top. I can't I, reach it. Well, I think everything will be fixable other than the fact that the, length, the fuselage is cracked in half. Is it cracked in half? Yeah. All right. Good. Well, we're out of planes except for one thing. There is a plane that we teach everyone to fly with at Edgewater, and we gotta retire this thing, because I literally let kids like drive it into the ground. It's the Scout XL. Yep. It's in the back of the truck right now. We weren't intending this. Yeah. But we talked about flying through the containers, looping around, going through the building. Let's just give it a shot. Let's just, let's I mean, just, let's, let's go for broke. <laughs> Third time's the charm, All right, bro. no promises. I mean, yeah. I mean, no promises, but. <laughs> We're gonna go for it. We gotta go through the building. You gotta, you gotta I mean, think bold. I had beams this big right now. The fun was real. But the execution's like right there. So yeah. let's go ahead and now see if we can shoot it through the building and, and, and see what happens. You ready to do this? Be bold, think bold, let's All right, go. I'll get the scout. All right, you ready, Stefan? <laughs> All right, bro, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Gotta get out of the building first. Yes. As All right, always. Let's see what happens here. <sighs> bum, 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 bum. Hey, right, nervous is, is all good. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good luck, sir. And we're up! Wait, there it is, I see it! <laughs> let's go! All right, let's, let's go. Victory roll. <laughs> okay, that was fun. That's awesome. <laughs> so obviously you know what happened with the containers. Right, correct. But we never got thrown of the building. Now's the time to do it. That's right. We're gonna we're gonna go for broke. We're gonna think bolder than we ever have before. And we're gonna try to fly through this building. <laughs> it, listen, and also, there's different ways of flying. When you're flying line inside your FPV, there's yeah. different dynamics and all that. So no I, mad mad props to you, Vic. Like that's that's crazy stuff. I love you. Are you gonna are you gonna fly over the building first, yeah, or are you I'm, gonna go in? I want to shoot a line first. Okay, just to, good just idea. To get my line and get my landmark. Oh man, I think <laughs> now you've got a choice to oh, make. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna try it downwind. Okay. But if I if it if it's not good enough, I'm gonna bail. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, go into the wind. Okay. Because because the crosswind is real. When you're going crosswind downwind, it's a pickle. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. You ready? Yeah, we're ready. Going nice and long. Yeah, get on out there. Ah. Get a long approach over the bean field. This is way different than flying down a runway. Ooh. All right, you got it. <laughs> I'm lined up. All right, yeah. sir. Good luck, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Da, 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 da. Epic music. Yes. <laughs> da, 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 Here we go. Da. All right. Yeah! 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 We did it! Yeah. <laughs> you did it! You did it! No way! That was Jay amazing! Big on the Jay picked on the stick! That was way what cool! What is going on right me? now? Yes! You did it, dude! That was incredible! Crazy. You know what's funny? The place was stable. I'm talking. Don't think I'm cheating. Oh, that's it's so flying. It's not even that, on that, level. It's but it's crabbing. I can see it. Yeah, it oh, is crabbing. Okay, okay. I'm gonna Great work, it. dude. Thank you, brother. Well, here's a good thing. This is something we can always revisit, and yep. it is now your turn to go a bowl thanks to Insta360. They want to see you dream big, do big, push the limits, maybe have a little carnage, and then share that journey with other people. That's right. So remember, think bold, go crazy, have some fun. We'll see you guys in the next See you next time. time.